So this, I'll, I'll be showing you the paints and the brushes, actually colors. And the brushes, which is the bigger flat size brush, medium and small, zero size or one size. Okay. Just keep everything, all the paints and everything ready. So as usual, let's let's start with the basic shapes and everything. So today I will be showing you the silhout painting of a reindeer. Okay. As I showed you the reindeer sketching. The previous classes you'll be having some idea about doing the deer let's paint that today the shapes are the circles just scribble scribble and scribble the practice sheet and one is the rectangle just making your hands free and all the curved lines and straight lines just take some time to draw these lines just to make your hands free And more importantly, practice doing circles. Okay. As this is the warm up session, this is must. When your hands get free, you will get all the perfect drawing in the main sketch. Okay, this is this is how you will improve. Yes, you can, you can draw this line, straight lines. You can just practice any lines, okay? Just make use of your sheet. 
and I'll, I'll give some time, just take some time to draw these shapes and lines. As many times as you practice, this will help you slowly to get the perfect drawings. And if you have any questions, please, you can add on the chat box. I'll, I'll see and reply. And then once you've finished, Please just show it to the camera once. So I'll just check everyone's work before starting the main sketch. Okay. Some of you are still doing, yes. Okay, Myra Bhagat, your, your circle is perfect. Good work. Okay, Jigisha and Anvi Sakpa. Okay, I can see some of you are still doing. I'll, I'll wait for some time so before we begin the main sketch. Okay, so those who have finished can keep all the main sheet sketch, acrylic sheet painting. Everything ready. Okay, if all of you are ready to start the main sketch, you guys, please show me thumbs up. Okay. Okay, shall we start now? Are we good? Okay. Okay, this is my sheet.
Okay. Oh, any any acrylic paints you can use for this. Okay, all of you can see the work now. Please give me a thumbs up. Okay, then let's start the main sketch. As I showed you all the circles, all the shapes. So here goes one big circle in the center of the sheet. Okay. You can you can also draw the line in the center just to just for the guideline and your circle have to be in the center of the sheet. Okay. Then after this, we are going to draw a deer inside the circle, like a jumping reindeer, okay? The small circle, this is for the head. And then here is here comes the rectangle. And then joining these two shapes with the curve line, which becomes the neck part of the deer. And then please draw these shapes very lightly. I'm gonna erase these lines, okay? And this is for the body. And slowly started giving the shape of the reindeer. And then 
let's give the face shape which comes like the v shape okay and then the friend's leg part this also just make the guideline of the v shape like this and then the back side legs goes like this when it's jumping okay okay I'll, i'll give some time I'll, i'll stop at this point or else you'll get confused i'll, I'll just repeat this is a small circle and the rectangle for the body and got connected with the curved lines which becomes the neck part and then just do straight guidelines for the legs okay okay myra bagat has already finished good work myra really good work and then i'll give the simple curve lines for the horns okay just observe and a small oval shape for the ears well, i'll take it slow you can concentrate and please go very slow so that you will get the perfect drawing and then as this line take this line as the guideline and slowly give the shape like this for the stomach okay and for this legs take the line from here at this point and with the help of this line just continue as it is the line goes like this
That's it. And same here, the backside leg also. Okay, and here, just to show them another leg backside, you can simply add the line here like this. And a small curve tail. As you can see, I did within this rectangle, okay? I'll, I'll just check once. I'll give another two minutes as the main sketch is really important for the work. Just take your time, do it slowly. Yes, I'll, I'll just check. Uh, okay, uh, Sejal and Yatharth, can you please take a little closer? Okay. That's, that's good. Okay. Okay, good work. And Sriharsh, your your down line, this line is not that much, that much perfect. Please take the curve line, okay? Just take this rectangle line as the guideline and just go take the curve line like this. Myra Bhagat, yes, your work is perfect. And just make a little bigger circle. Okay. And what about Swasti? Can I see your work? Oh, okay. Good work, Swasti. Okay. Is my voice still breaking? Yeah, yes or no, you can just add on chat box. Okay, it's clear. Yukta, Yukta, okay. Yukta, your, your beer is so small, I feel just, if you can make it little bigger, it will be great.
Yes. Rest of them all good. Yes, good work, Yashita. Okay, all good. Okay. So before we start the painting work, let's add the masking tapes. And then this down, we will do some trees, the Christmas trees, as I showed you in the last class, just take the lines, straight lines like this here, just two and two lines here. Okay, one is a little tall in the corner. And then coming from small, just the curve lines like this. Okay. This is the sketch. I'll just add the masking tape. you don't have, you can give the border and make sure you paint within the line. Okay, if you don't have, it's okay. If you have the masking tape, it's good. To give some nice borders. Okay, so don't worry, if you don't have, not a problem. So by then those who are finished can keep all the paints, so water container, everything ready. And we'll wait another two minutes. Then I'll just erase this line, the rectangle and circle. Okay. 
cắt Okay, all of you ready? Ready to start? Myra Bhagat, are you ready? Ready to start? Okay. Rahim Shaikh, what about you? Ready? Okay. Okay, okay. Yashita? Okay, I'll just keep the color. What I will be using is the Persian blue color. Okay, I'll just keep the color here and I'll start in two minutes. Yes, the color is the Persian blue. Okay, Persian blue, which is the darkest shade of blue. Okay, all good, shall we start? Start the colors. Background, please take the bigger size brush Okay, it will be quick and easy for you guys to complete the background soon. And then diluting the color with more of water. Please make sure you dilute color properly before applying. Okay. See, you have to get this shade and the sketch, whatever you did, that should be visible. Okay. 
as this is the dark color please use more water dilute the color properly and then apply It's okay even if you get any patches in between. As this is just the first wash. Okay, your sketch should be visible. Please dilute the color properly and make sure you just check once before applying. Okay. Just wait for some time to dry. Just finish it quickly. Utpala, please use more water when you're applying on the deer. Please dilute the color with more water, with pala.
The next color is black. Yes, when you're applying on the deer, please make sure you dilute the color with more water. Okay, I'll be taking the black color now. And the brush number seven, seven size brush or any medium sized brush. Okay, not too big, not too small. And after when your sheet is completely dry, please apply the black color. for the deal, complete black. As today's class is the seal out painting. You are painting the deer with complete black color. So before applying black color, please make sure your sheet is all dry. If your sheet is not dry, the colors will spread. So wait for some time to dry. If your sheet is dry, you can start doing the black work. Please observe. If you have any questions, please put it in the chat box. And if your deer's leg is too small, please take the small size brush. Okay. Now for the horns, I'll be taking a zero size brush. Just to give thin fine lines. Okay. 
taking zero size brush to give thin lines. And the next color I'll be taking is titanium white. Okay. The next color is titanium white. Now I will also show you the color mixing. The color mixing of cobalt blue and titanium white. Okay, these two colors, cobalt blue, titanium white. Just repeat the color once again. Cobalt blue, titanium white. adding white from a palette and very little blue cobalt blue okay now taking very less water and more of white Your color shade will come something like this. Okay. Now I'll be giving for the circle we did, that is the moon. And careful when doing it at the edges, please take small size brush and fill properly So nothing to worry, even if you go inside, you can always add the black paint. So just be careful when doing it at the edges. Just fill the color properly.
please observe what I'm doing. Okay, this is not complete white, just mixed, very little cobalt blue, which gives you a different shade. No? And please don't use too much of water. Please apply the thick paint. Just take very little water. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it slowly. So the major filling part is with the medium sized brush. And when you're doing it, the corners, please use small size brush which is the zero or one size. Okay, I took the small size brush. Please be careful in doing the edges. As this horns is thin line, please take zero or one size. Okay, this is where you learn filling the colors inside the shapes. 
Okay. Okay. I'm doing it very slow. I'm just giving the sharp edge background, the circle. So even if you paint over the deer, it's okay, no problem. You can always add the black color. Okay. Okay, my filling is almost done. Now with the seven size brush, I'll be taking the black color again for the trees. As we did the sketch, the guidelines, okay, the straight line, 
and curve line. Starting from thin line, and the strokes which I showed you and as you go down you have to give all the thick strokes for the curved lines okay the end of the tree the end of this stroke should be the downwards like this. Okay. The same goes for this line. The strokes which we learned in the last class during the Christmas tree, it's the same. Okay, simple. Just the strokes, one is on the left and right. Any questions, please ask. Okay, this tree is little smaller compared to this one. Okay. You can always add anything in the background with your own creative ideas, such as the stars or the snowflakes, anything that you think will be good for this background. So I'll be adding another two little trees here. Just to fill this gap. Okay. 
Just take your time, do it slowly. Now I'll be taking zero size brush. I'm going to give some stars. Okay. And you can always redo the background if you want to change or apply the color even more darker just to give that night effect. We'll be adding some dots in the sky. And the stars. Just small, tiny dots with a pointed brush. Okay. Okay, we can do anything in the background. Or we can also add some patterns or designs on the moon if you want. That's your creativity. Okay, now it's time to Remove the masking tapes. Please make sure your painting, all the work is completely dry before removing the masking tapes. Or else your, if your sheet is wet, the colors will spread. Okay. <clears throat> if your color spreads just in case, you can take the direct white and give the straight line. So this is the advantage of 
acrylics when you're using the acrylics you can always correct your painting Okay. Work is done. I'll just keep checking your works. All right, good. So I think most of them are still working on we should be able to give them some time and some of the students definitely needs to um well apply some creativity like i said you know it's your work you should be able to think of what else can i do right but be careful be within the lines do not go outside of the line some of you guys haven't used masking tapes so be within the line right i'm going to end the streaming now and stop the recording as well. Is there anybody who wants to give us a feedback? Is there anybody who wants to talk about how the classes were? You can just raise your hand. I shall unmute them. Now you can raise your hand, please. Okay. So the first person who raised the hand, Sana. Hi, sir. Hello, Sana. Sir, I like today's class. It was so interesting and nice. And uh, the, uh, like I have a problem, sir, that I have messed it up, sir. OK, don't worry. In the art, art is the only subject you don't mess anything up. You know what I mean? Like you can always correct it. So show it to us. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. We're looking at it. I have muted you because there's a background noise. Um, you Okay, in the neck part, right? In the neck part, and you, you have also, um, you know, gone inside the deer. Otherwise, the shape was, shape was really good. Now, what you can do is, you see, deer has, deer has the black color, no? Take a black color and then bring the shape back on the same white. Right, Shreyas? Yes, so just after the white gets dry, you can always redo it. That's the advantage when you're using acrylics. Okay, and great, there you go. Sorry, thank you, Shreya. So that is where you don't have to worry uh, worry anything at all, Lasana. What you can do is wait for the paint to get dry and then later use the black. Uh, this time, be careful. You don't want to mess like uh, again and again, right? Be very careful. But again, if it goes messy also, let it dry. And then later you can use the color. Like for example, that black color, right? There is a black color. Use that and bring the shape back. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's talk to Sri Harsh. Yes, Sri Harsh. Can you see this mind? Yes, yes. We're looking at yours now. Well, good attempt, Sri Harsh. Keep up the good work, okay? But also be little careful with the shapes. Next time, let's let's bring the shapes a little better, okay? Okay, sir. All right. Bye, and thank you, sir. Welcome, Sri Harsh. Okay, uh, Swasti. Okay, Swasti, you're on the go. Yes, Swasti. 
So actually I have not finished it because I needed to make the blue color because I didn't have it. I would like mm -hmm. to give some feedback. Mm -hmm. Today's class was amazing and I mm -hmm. loved the technique. And it mm -hmm. was more relatable because we had already learned the reindeer in the earlier classes. And the trees as well, right? Yes. That's the advantage. I'm sure you get to reapply those techniques once more. So I'm sure all of you all, it should be very easy for you guys to do these things. But yeah, this is a jumping reindeer, right? So over yes. here, where it is positioning, where it is looking, because when the line of action, as in where it is looking, the when it is jumping, the legs are, you know, shaped like a V shape, like inside, right? So those things are the observation. And with the painting, it is much easier. Like there aren't many colors that we have used. So it should be very easy. And yeah, Merry Christmas to all of you all. I can see the background there and the Christmas um, hat, a cap as well. Nice. Good one. All right, Sosti. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So who else? Okay, Hansel. Let's talk to Hansel. It's been some time. Hansel. Yes, sir. Mm, very nice. Very nice. Very good. First of all, nice. All the colors you've used, were able to use the colors. Now only look at your work. I want you to look at your work, okay? Wherever you find that, yes, sir, I think I can improve over here. I want you to tell me where. Sir, I, I need to improve in mixing the colors for the moon, sir. So I can make it more lighter. Okay, okay, okay. What but else? Then the shape of the D, sir, when I was painting, sir, it got the white paint spread on here and all, and it got black here, sir, a bit. Okay, so I wanted Where to include that. And here, sir, I wanted to give I want to give the Strokes, please, sir. Mm, okay. So, whatever you have mentioned, all of them are good observation. Okay. That's why when we are working with the paint, it is very important that we carefully use it. And you're a good, you're a good artist, and you have a good skills. Can I also give you one more feedback? When you when you look at the deer, right? What what your tutor has shown. It is looking ahead and the line is diagonal. You know what is diagonal, right? Going from the top to corner, the line is diagonal. If you look at your deer, the line is not diagonal. It is straight. Where do we draw the line? The legs. If you look at the legs, right? It is jumping straight versus jumping up. That is the that is another difference. Do you are you able to see that? Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Deer is a bit slanting, sir. But my mm. deer is straight, sir. Correct. But anyways, that is an observation. But it is okay. Just look at the horn and the shape of the body. Okay. You may have to you may have to just work on these things. Otherwise, it is good. Okay, Hansel. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay, Rahin Sheikh. Hello, Rahin. Sir, this is my work. I'm still yeah. doing it. Okay, yeah, beautiful. I like it. Uh, stay within the lines, Rahin. The round shape, if you look at you have gone here and there, but it is okay. The moon is completely not white. Uh, you know, it can have a shade of black, which is fair enough, but it is round. Just be okay, careful sir. with that. Okay, sir. The shapes, pretty much the shapes, that's it. We need to work on the shapes. Okay, sir. Okay. Continuous practice is the best way. Yes, sir. Okay, Rahim, thank you for learning. And I'm going to go to a next student. Um, who do we pick here? Okay, Anvi Sakpal. 
Okay, Anvi. Hi, sir. Hello, Anvi. I have made one new technique uh, mm -hmm. that my teacher has taught me to sprinkle mm -hmm. uh, stars and some little dots. Well, Anvi, it's a good technique that you have learned. Very good that you were able to apply. But you have also sprinkled it on the reindeer. Yes, sir. That is maybe not usable. You know why? Why? You need to do it in the sky, right? Because when the reindeer is jumping in the dark, imagine, this is just an imagination, okay? I want you to imagine, close your eyes and imagine. The reindeer is running and then it takes a leap. What is leap? It takes a jump, right? When it takes a jump in the night, the reindeer is completely black and the sky is behind. Moon is there, right? So moon ke, you know, the stars won't be there on the moon. Have you seen any, any time stars being on the moon? No. Yes, where will it be? It will be in the sky. So what is Silvey effect? We've learned what is the Silvey effect. Huh? What is the Silvey effect? So any object from the behind, if there is a light on any object, that object will look black, dark. So where is the star coming? If the star comes, it will become bright. Right? So just, just work on that. Don't, uh, you know, using the technique was a good idea. But using on the sky, not on the reindeer. That's it. Okay. I like today's class. Okay, and we, we too. We like your work. It's really good. Thank you. Thank you. I made that one. Oh, wow. Very good. This from the this week's class, right? Very nice, Sanvi. Keep it up. Yes, thank you. Welcome. All right, everybody. I think over here, we're going to stop and wish all of you all a Merry Christmas one more time. And enjoy your day. I'm going to stop the recording. Okay, and I'm going to unmute all of you all just to